In today's lecture, we will cover elasticity of demand. First, I will tell you the significance of the elasticity of demand over law of demand. As we already know that according to the law of demand, the increase in the price of the commodity will lead to contraction of demand and the decrease in the price of the commodity will lead to expansion of demand. The law of demand, it tells the tendency or the direction of the change in demand on account of the change in price. However, it is silent on the quantity of change. That is, it is silent on the magnitude of the change of quantity demanded due to the change in the price. So, the economic definition of uh, elasticity of demand basically tells you the degree of responsiveness of the percentage change in quantity demanded due to the determinants of demand. What is this responsiveness? Now, suppose there is a change in the price of the commodity by 1 rupee. So, you have to say if the quantity demanded changes by a large amount or a low amount. If the quantity demanded changes by a large amount, then we call it to be an elastic demand. That is the degree of responsiveness. The reaction of the change in the price on the quantity is high. That is the degree, the elasticity of demand is high. Similarly, if the price changes of rupees 1, but the quantity demanded respond very less to the change in price. That is, there is almost no change in quantity demanded. So, we say that the elasticity of demand is inelastic because there is no response of the quantity change due to the change in the price. Now, uh, Accordingly, there can be three main determinants of elasticity of demand that is price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. However, we have not taken into account another important determinant of a, uh, demand that is the taste here. Why have we not taken this? Because it is difficult to measure the effect of change in taste on the demand of the consumer. First, we will talk of the price elasticity of demand. I have already talked of that here. It shows the degree of responsiveness of percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price. It basically tells you how does the change in the price of the commodity impact the change in the quantity demanded. If the change in the Quantity demanded due to change in price is less. We call the demand to be e less elastic because you are not responding to that price change. If the change in the quantity demanded is more because of the change in the prices, then we call that the price elasticity of demand is high because you are responding to the change in the prices. Now, let us move on to the income elasticity of demand. It reflects the reaction of the demand due to change in the income of the consumer. So, what does that tell you? Basically, it tells you with the change in the income of the consumer, how does the demand respond to the change? That is, if the demand reacts very high due to the change in the income, then we call that the income elasticity of demand is high. On the other hand, if due to the change in the demand, the quantity demand does not change much, we call that to be less elastic. That is an inelastic demand. Now, let's move on to the clause elasticity of demand. Now, you have to keep in mind that this is percentage change in quantity demanded of commodity X due to percentage change in price of the related commodity Y. Here, X and Y can be substitute goods or complement goods. They are just related to each other in any of the way. It basically tells you how does the change in price of one of the commodity impacts the quantity demanded of the related good. Now, we will talk of different kinds or different degrees of elasticity of demand. Here, we are particularly talking about 
price elasticity of demand so first we'll come to the perfectly inelastic demand as you can see from the figure that with the change in the price of the commodity the quantity demanded does not change so when the quantity de demanded does not change at all as a result of the change in the price of the commodity then the demand is said to be perfectly inelastic that is the elasticity of demand is zero why because percentage change in quantity demanded to percentage change in price is zero that is the change in quantity is zero so the whatever the denominator is the numerator is always zero because the quantity demanded does not change due to the change in the price an example of this can be salt now let's move on to inelastic demand now as you can see this is steeper but it is flatter than the perfectly inelastic demand so here the elasticity of demand is less than 1 so when the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price of the commodity we said we say that the demand is inelastic example sugar or so here the quantity demanded changed due to change in price but the change in the quantity demanded is always less than the change in the price the commodity so the demand elasticity of demand here is always less than 1 now here we talk of the unit elastic demand that is when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 you'll notice that it is very steep in the case of inelastic demand but when we talk of the unit elastic demand it is a little flatter than the above diagram so here the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to the percentage change in price of the commodity in such a situation the commodity has a unit elastic demand now elastic demand is a situation where the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in price of the commodity here the you can as you can see the diagram that the slope is very flat as compared to the above situations now in the case of perfectly elastic demand it is a situation in which a small change or no change in price the commodity leads to infinite change in the quantity demanded that with that is if the even if the quantity if the price change is very minute or if there is no change in price the quantity demanded change at a very high amount here the elasticity of demand is infinity so you have to keep in mind when we talk of elasticity price elasticity of demand it is always negative why because the relationship between price and quantity is inversely related to each other now when the when the reaction of the quantity to the change in price is extremely large it is infinite the elasticity of demand is infinity because the numerator becomes infinity that is percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price here even if you have a small amount the entire thing collapses to infinity all right now there's a single diagram which takes into account every elasticity of demand as you see that as you move anti clockwise the elasticity of demand is increasing so here is a case where the quantity demanded does not change due to the change in price so this is the case of completely in elastic demand that is the percentage change in quantity demanded is zero due to a percentage change in price that change in price can be more or less now in the case of elasticity of demand less than 1 
the percentage change in quantity demanded will be less than the percentage change in price of the commodity. In the case of elasticity of demand equal to 1, the percentage change in quantity demanded will be equal to the percentage change in price of the commodity. In this case, where the elasticity of demand is greater than 1, the percentage change in quantity demanded will be greater than the percentage change in price. In this infinite elastic demand that is perfectly elastic demand a small or no change in quantity demanded will lead to abundant change in the price uh, quantity of the commodity so in the next lecture we will cover the methods of calculating or measuring the price elasticity of demand which will cover the percentage of the proportionate method total expenditure or total outlay method, geometric or the point method. In order to get latest updates about the new lectures, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any doubts, leave comments. I will respond to it.